Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today, we have a 2003 GMC Sierra with a diesel in it and an Allison transmission. The shop was told by the dealer that this cannot be done with GM software. So, I'm going to show you how to do it with GM software. Stand by. While well, you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T O O L H U T U S A dot com. My name is Sam. Okay, for this video, I'm going to be using the GM SPS2 software available at acducklets dot com. And for the interface, I'm using a genuine General Motors MDI2. You can do it with other J boxes, but this is my preferred interface for GM vehicles. Let's get this thing going. All right. Got SPS2 started, and for reasons I'm not going to explain further, I had to type in the VIN. Let's just leave it at that. So once I got the vehicle ID'd, it's a 2003 Chevy or GMC Sierra. 3500 crew cab. We're going to choose SPS2. And if anybody's used SPS2, you know that you see the whirly wheel a lot. So, not the fastest program you've ever seen. We're going to choose replace and program because that's what we did. Now, mind you, this was told by the customer this couldn't be done at the dealer. It looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? It does to me. quite a few of these. I'm actually going to do another video on this same exact truck doing it with the Tech 2. Uh, so if you got any questions, there will be a follow-up video to this user doing a different procedure and some older software if anybody's interested. So I chose the transmission control module. It showed it had unrecognized calibrations in both areas of the transmission control module and I chose to program it. So I have sped up the programming part because nobody likes to watch the blue line go across real slow. But like I say it looks pretty straightforward to me. I thought it was interesting the dealer told them it couldn't be done and then they called the Allison dealer. The Allison dealer tells them it has to be done at the GM dealer call the GM dealer the GM dealer says no we can't do those it's got to be done at the Allison dealer so they called me and asked me if I could do it I said absolutely so I don't know what the difference was but like you could see I didn't no miracle work here no weird choices pretty straightforward I haven't skipped any steps, I just sped up part of the sequence for you. Well, believe it or not, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos like this. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when they come out. I kind of do them sporadically. I won't do one for a few months, and then I'll do one. I'm not on a schedule like a lot of people, so have a great day.